Скажите, что прямой эфир. Can you please tell them that we are live on air? And a good view of Laurel O'Hara with a thumbs up. Each of the crew members being presented with a Matrushka doll, the stacking dolls that uh, bear the resemblance of each crew member. All right, you guys are good? Yes. All right. Are you guys ready? Um, will it, is it long? Is it far away? No, it's not. It's about 100 meters away. I was amazed to see our beautiful Earth from space. We came here from Belarus and uh, covered Marina Vasilevska with flowers. Right now we have the Belarus delegation, the medical team, and other support personnel around Marina. Marina is in excellent health. Good. Welcome home. NASA astronaut Laurel O'Hara flashing a smile. Back home after 204 days in space. Place all three crew members closer to each other. Asking all the docs if it'd be okay to bring chairs in closer a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, So, give us two to three minutes. Marina, how can you compare uh, launch and landing? I can't really, they're very different. During launch, you can feel the rocket, the launch vehicle, it's rumbling, it's vibrating, it's amazing. And then after about 10 minutes, you feel that you are in weightlessness. And when you land, the parachute deployment is a big deal and you feel it.
All right, they will be starting transporting the crew commander. Please make way. And now the, the process of uh, bringing the crew members one by one in their chairs to the nearby inflatable medical tent, Novitsky first. Be very careful, there are some wires on the ground. And uh, in a tradition, Novitsky signing his name to his Soyuz spacecraft. Thank you for your work. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Please sit in your seat. Oleg Novitsky being carried, uh, as is the tradition, into the inflatable medical tent nearby, where he will uh, undergo initial medical exams and change into more comfortable clothing, removing his Sokol launch and entry suit. All right, let's Laurel O'Hara up next. Let's carry her to the tent. There's Vasilevskaya. <laughs> Have you ever had a ride like this? Never. First time in my life. So you've been watching a video from the landing site where Soyuz MS-24 touched down at 2.17 a.m. Central Time, 3.17 a.m. Eastern Time. It was a, a perfect landing, all of the uh, undocking. And there's a replay of uh, the Soyuz under the chutes that we saw live less than an hour ago. The uh, Soyuz landing, you'll see the soft landing engines fire and the uh, parachute reefing. And there was touchdown, 91 miles uh, to the southeast of the town of Jez Kazgan, Kazakhstan, bringing home uh, Laurel O'Hara of NASA after 204 days in space. Soyuz commander Oleg Novitsky, who completed his fourth flight into space with an aggregate total of 545 days to his credit, and Belarus spaceflight participant Marina Vasilevskaya. Once again, uh, the crew members are now in the inflatable medical tent that is erected uh, close to the capsule itself. 
They will uh, receive preliminary medical exams, get out of their Sokol launch and entry suits, and then they'll be placed in three helicopters, one for each crew member, to fly two hours back to the staging city of Karaganda, Kazakhstan, where O'Hara will board a NASA plane bound for Houston. Novitsky and Vasilevskaya will climb aboard a Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center aircraft to fly back to their training base in Star City, Russia, outside of Moscow. So with Soyuz MS-24 safely back on Earth and the three crew members in good shape, next up, an astronomical phenomenon that doesn't occur every day, the uh, well-publicized and much-anticipated total solar eclipse that will cross uh, the United States on Monday, April 8th. NASA television will provide end-to-end -end coverage of the eclipse beginning at 12 noon central time on Monday, 1 p.m. Eastern time, with uh, locations throughout the United States participating in uh, the revelry of uh, this rarely seen event where the moon will pass directly in front of the sun, creating darkness in areas uh, of the United States that will be seeing uh, at least partial, if not total, shadowing of uh, the Earth we will also be receiving views of the moon shadow on the Earth from the crew aboard the International Space Station. External cameras on the station will be trained on the Earth uh, during a time frame of about 2.39 to 2.49 p.m. Central Time, 3.29 to 3.39 p.m. Eastern Time, as part of the live coverage of the 2024 total solar eclipse of the Sun. So be sure to tune in for that on Monday, April 8th. For now, that will wrap up our coverage of the return to Earth of Laurel O'Hara, Oleg Novitsky, and Marina Vasilevskaya, all three safely back on Earth. Thank you for tuning in throughout the course of the night. Have a great weekend and enjoy that total eclipse on Monday. For now, this is Mission Control Houston.